oh my god girl i can't do this it's just tangling too much there's nothing like chilling with my girls just me and my divas taking over the world What's up, divas and divos? So, you guys, it's about to be a affordable hair tutorial. If you guys are familiar with EbonyLine.com, you can check them out. They got like a bunch of wigs on their website. You know, wigs, wigs, wigs for days. So, I decided to try out one of my favorite people. Y'all know how I be feeling about this one particular brand, Team Sensational, all the way. Like, for real, I'm going to represent them. Like, I'm not saying they asked me to, but I'm representing them. As a person, like as a fan, I love Team Sensational, hashtag Team Sensational. So they got this cute wig called Fringe Frame, okay? That is available at ebonyline.com, girls, okay? And this is face flattering fringes, okay? So I'm, I'm wondering, is that for real? Because the girl looked real cute. She even put this up in a ponytail on the top. So it's a Cloud9 Swiss lace wig, 100% premium fibers, okay? Her name is Terry, and the color I have her in is a 1B30, a T1B30. And it's supposed to give you a natural look because it gives you, like, some parting space, honey. You get, like, a nice amount of parting space, so you can even part the the daggone bang, um, bang okay? Like, okay, so... The color that is shown is a T427, okay? But I like the 30 because the 27s, when it comes to synthetic wigs, they always seem to look like so fake and so cheap. So I don't really go for that 27 when it comes to synthetic hair. I'm going to show you the parting space in this bad boy, which is right here. So you don't even have to wear the bang, honey, if you don't want to. But I promise you, you will have to train the plastic, the synthetic hairs because it's plastic, okay? But you will have to train the hairs to make a part in the middle if you wanted to. But it has the combs here, and then it has the comb and the adjustable strap in the nape. The cap is just a regular standard cap, so it's not like one of their stretch hand tie wigs. It just has these. So, you you know, you can breathe through it. I'm going to tell you if it's big head friendly in a second. So, let's get into this video real quick. <laughs> y'all think that it's cute like it's cute i like my bang to be like a lot fuller like i be needing some more bang girl 
Like it's not bad, but I do need like a little bit more fullness on the bang. So I wanted to see how well you can pull this wig up. Cause you did see, I had to create like some little bit of hairs on the side because I didn't want nobody knowing like, oh girl got on a wig, girl. I'm gonna brush it up as good as I can because let me tell y'all, when it comes to like synthetic wigs, brushing them into a ponytail, to me is not even worth it sometimes because they get so tangled on the way up of pushing that you just lose your mind and then you just be like oh my god girl i can't do this it's just tangling too much If you make it into a ponytail like this, you definitely want to make sure that your tracks are not showing here because I can feel it. And if I can feel it, I'm pretty sure that you can see it. Also, you will need to thin the edges out. Unless you want to go outside looking like a Samaran soldier, then I would definitely suggest thinning the hairline out so that way you can wear it in the ponytail. Two, make sure that you take enough hair out because the ponytail is still very thin. So you may want to clip in some extensions if you're trying to go that route. If you're not trying to go that route and you just rather wear it straight into its relaxed, flowing, free flowing style, then I would say go for it. The concept is cute, but I'm really not like a fan of this type of I dream of genie ponytail, especially when it has to be so thin because there are tracks showing. And if I make it any bigger, the tracks will definitely, or any fuller, the ponytail any fuller, the tracks are definitely going to show. So for me, this wig is a, is is better like worn all the way down because like I said, it's synthetic. It's definitely gonna tangle as you see it doing here. And to get it up in a ponytail, it will require some work and patience. So if you are not patient, don't wanna do too much work and you get aggravated very easily, then I would say wear this sucker the way it is. Do not try to put it up in any type of ponytail because it will have you on the verge of being pissed off other than that i think it's cute terry is cool i like her um if you like bangs then you know you have an option to wear her with or without bangs because of all the parting space and it is heat friendly up to 400 degrees so you know get it girl let it be known how cute it is face flattering fringes not really sure how it flatters my face um if i could to pull it up some maybe you know but um yeah so you guys you can let me know what you think of terry i will post the information below for evermeline.com make sure you rate comment subscribe let me know what you think i would have to probably wear her back like this if i was to wear her um because it's so hot i love you stay keep and delicious make sure you rate comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in a soon to come video bye